Hello everyone, we continue algebra by uh, learning about the vectors and a vector AB is uh, has both a direction and length and we are going to tell AB equals to CD if absolute AB length equals to absolute CD length and also AB is parallel to CD. And uh, also AB equals to minus BA. And uh, assume that A and B are two vectors so that A equals to AB and uh, B equals to BC. Then AC is A plus B, which is AB plus BC. This, it, this two must be uh, close to each other, not BC plus AB, no, AB plus BC. And we show A, B, and B, C, then A, C. Arithmetic A plus B plus C equals to A plus B plus C and A plus B plus minus equals to a B plus A Minus and uh, a plus zero equals to a and a plus minus a equals to zero. And in this part, A minus B is A plus minus B. It changed the direction. If A is vector and T belongs to a real value, then T a absolute equals to absolute t length i a. And the t multiplied by a plus b equals to t a plus t b. 
and k plus u a equals to k a plus u a and uh, minus one a equals to minus a and t u a equals to t u a We have an example, interesting. And so that the show by vectors that uh, he has one of the diagonals of the uh, diagonals in uh, parallelogram uh, is uh, uh, cross each other in the middle means that we have this and this and this we have a b c d and e and we have a here and b here a B. Uh, we are going to tell that uh, A E is parallel to A C and E B parallel to D B. And we know that A E equals to X A C and also E B equals to Y D B. We must find we must find that X and Y is half. Then we are going to tell a E plus E B plus B A equals to zero. Why? Because it is this and this is this and this is A B, but we have multiplied by this one. Because this is a b, a b plus b a is zero. Okay, and uh, we are telling that x a c plus y d b plus b a minus a plus b a or minus b a we are going to tell that this is equals to a b we move this one other some minus b a is a b But AC is A plus B. A 
plus B. This is B2. It is AC. AC. Then X A plus B plus Y DB is db it is dc plus d then it is a minus b equals to a then a multiplied by x plus y plus B x minus y is a. Then we put it there. Then it is uh, B x minus y equals to a one minus x minus y. But A is not parallel to B, then it cannot happen. Only X minus Y is zero, and N X minus Y is zero. Then X equals to Y, and here X equals to half, half. Then, these two diagonal AC and BD cross each other in the middle. Okay. Um, if we have two vector, A point a, it is scalar uh, multiplication is uh, absolute A, absolute B, cosinus theta A and B, and theta is the uh, B. Uh, Thinking. Just a second. Uh, theta is angel between A and B. And uh, we are going to have a A. A equals to absolute A power by 2 and A B equals to B A and T A B equals to T A B equals to A T B If a b equals to zero, then a is perpendicular to b. And a b less than uh, theta greater than hundred, uh, greater than. Uh, 90 degree greater than P hat. We have also another A multiple by B plus C equals to AB plus A 
C. Uh, we know in the physics that uh, uh, work is a uh, take a, a something and move and withdraw with a, a craft uh, with a force F and move it this mass from A to B then W is absolute value of this distance multiplied by absolute f cosinus theta which is w f a b okay. another example is a equals to absolute value A equals to 1. Absolute B is 2. And theta is 120 degrees. Is uh, uh, 2 P divided by 3. And uh, we will absolute A minus 3 B power by 2 which is a minus 3b a min minus 3b which is a a minus 6a b plus 9b b a2 minus 6a b cosinus 2p third plus 9b 2 which is 1 minus 6 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by uh, cosinus uh, this one is uh, minus half plus nine four and it is uh, uh, 43 and uh, then absolute three minus a minus three b equals to squared 43. Another example is uh, we have a figure uh, we have A, B, A and this one is C and theta and C equals to A minus B power by 2 and absolute C power by 2 is so then it is a minus b a minus b equals to absolute a power by 2 minus 2 absolute a absolute b cosinus theta uh, plus b power by 2 
which is the same as we had in cosinus uh, term uh, c2 equals to a2 plus b2 minus 2ab cosinus theta in triangle. We had it before. And Uh, we are going to study in uh, tetrahed in tetrahed and uh, if uh, if uh, two uh, sides are perpendicular then the third part is perpendicular in a tetrahed and it is we are going to have a tetrahed we are going to have this and this and this and it is uh, C B D A and we have A B A C and this and we have this one H this one C and this one A and this is B then A D would be A then D A is perpendicular to D, B. And the D, A is perpendicular to D A perpendicular to B C B C and uh, D B is perpendicular to A C in uh, then B C is perpendicular to A, B. We will show this. This one gives us D A. D A is A. D A is A. A point B C B C equals to zero. And uh, D B B multiplied by A C equals to zero. But B C B C is C 
B minus B. Then A multiplied by C minus B equals to AC minus AB. equals to zero. Then A C equals to A B. And here B multiplied by C minus A. A C is C minus A, which is B C minus B A equals to zero. Then B C equals to minus A B. Then from both these, you are getting that A C equals to B C, which gives us a minus B multiplied by C equals to zero means that B A B C equals to zero means that B C is perpendicular by A B. Okay, I stop here. See you next. We continue with vectors.